Welcome everyone. This is the Empress. Happy to be here with you guys. All right, so let's see what messages we get for let me see. What is today? Let me see something really quick, guys. The 13th. Okay, so we're going to do these messages for the 14th and the 15th. All right, so this is going to be a collective read. Let's see what messages we get. What energy is coming towards my collective? Guys, if you're interested in getting a yes or no question answered, guys, I'm doing those for $5 each, $5 per question. The information to contact me via email, guys, is in the description box below. For my newbies, welcome, guys. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. All right, and be sure to like, 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 guys. Share with your family and your friends and comment below. All right, so let's get into it, guys. Give me the message for June the 14th and the 15th. What messages? What are what what do the collective need to know? What energy is coming towards my collective? Give me a message, please. Thank you. Ooh, okay. So, someone could be in their feelings. Because somebody is being slut-shamed. Sham we got slut-shaming. We got slut-shaming, guys. All right, so this is when someone is expressing their sexuality. Um, someone could be being feeling like they're being judged, a double standard, or somebody here is out having a casual get-togethers, okay? And it's leaving somebody in their feelings, okay? Somebody is doing this for attention from male or female. Somebody is doing this simply for attention, okay? For attention, for sure. So somebody is like, you know, posting pictures of themselves, um, maybe showing a little cleavage or just, you know, doing things to get attention, okay? Somebody's trying to put somebody in their feelings. Yes, we got the struggle is real. All right, so hitting a rough patch in life, frustrating situation, not easy, trying time, setback, annoyed. So, yeah, somebody is super duper annoyed by someone who's breadcrumbing them. Somebody's getting breadcrumbed, okay? Avoiding making any real effort. So, what I'm getting here is like somebody's not, somebody's playing mind games and somebody's keeping their options open. And only giving the bare minimum. This could be making somebody want to post pictures of themselves to get attention um, because they don't they feel left out or the situation that they are in is extremely frustrating. And I feel like somebody is trying to get somebody's attention because somebody is definitely breadcrumbing the hell out of somebody here. Somebody's not give, giving someone attention. That's what I feel like. All right, this could be a younger person here. I'm sorry, this person could be between the ages of uh, 27 and 35. Um, they feel like they don't fit in. Uh, like, they, they just don't feel like they fit in. Like, they're doing things. Somebody is doing something to fit in and doing something for attention, for sure, for sure. They could be doing this because in their relationship, they don't feel like they are appreciated or they feel as if they aren't getting any attention they still um believe in the relationship wanting to stay together in a partnership but feeling like they aren't getting the attention that they deserve they could be on snapchat using snapchat filters trying to make themselves look better um we got filter here <laughs> So somebody is doing the most to get some attention. They could be acting out of character. They could be acting real, real, real out of character. We got ratchet here. 
they could be acting real out of character where really this is really them. They normally act like this. Like the homemaker, the good girl, good guy. Um, you know, plain and simple. Uh, you know, just not doing too much. But low key, they got a whole nother side to them that I feel like they're getting ready to bring out or have already brought out. Don't be surprised if you see this person on the internet doing this. Okay? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Flatlining, yep. Because the relationship is dying. So this person is doing any and everything to try to keep keep uh, this person interested in them. But they're realizing somebody here is really, really spiritual. We got woke and spiritualists. Okay, so they could be using... This person could be really, really spiritual. Okay, so they don't mind... They don't mind, you know, they'll use this as like, yeah, I'm free and I don't want to be uh, boxed in. So they're coming out of their shell. They are waking, somebody's waking up to something and they're getting a lot of attention from a lot of, they're getting a lot of male attention or getting a lot of attention from females. Okay. Because what really is people are enjoying the vibe. Okay, people are enjoying this. Like, they're like, this is new. This person don't never really show off like this. They going in. They, I'm feeling it. They pictures and stuff. Y'all seen their pictures? Man, Shotty just dropped a new picture. Y'all seen it? That's, that, that, ooh, woo. <laughs> like, they could really, really be, like, getting a lot of attention. Okay? Really. Truthfully and honestly. Yeah, they slaying. I'm telling you. They got everybody shook because people are like, hey, look at this, tendering, looking for a match, ready to mingle. Okay, so see, they're trying to reel in some new people. They're trying to, they, they're they baiting. They're baiting. They ready to turn up. This person ready to turn up. Okay, so it looks like they wanted to keep this relationship, but it looks like the relationship is dying. So I feel like somebody is out here doing the most taking pictures trying to get attention um you know this person is just doing what they got to do to reel in some new they really need some some newbies okay they really need some new energy because and tell you what this person is not sorry for this behavior they just ready to bounce and if they haven't bounced yet they get somebody getting ready to get ghosted somebody's about to be ghosted because somebody is feeling like the relationship is over. Okay. Now, somebody is getting ready to be benched. Somebody is getting ready to be benched. Okay. Somebody um, is getting put on hold. The relationship got the potential, but it just hasn't made it there yet. Somebody is getting put on hold. Okay. They're going to see what's better. What's, what else is out there? Um, they may be posting statuses to see who's on the same level as them, like who relates with them, who's on the same page as them, okay? Yeah, see, this this person could be trying to go viral on the internet, okay? They may have some influencers from older people in their lives, like a mother or a father or an uh, aunt or something like that, who could be, you know, kind of like pushing them or giving them the okay to, to go out there and mingle, okay? And somebody is just sitting back getting this tea. Sitting back sipping the tea. Didn't I tell you tendering came out again. Tendering and shook. Somebody's about to find out that somebody is doing a lot of online dating. Somebody is doing a lot of online dating. For sure, for sure. And it's going to be a tower moment. But to keep it real, we got to keep it 100. Show your true self. Be honest with yourself. This person, the truth that's about to come out about this person is that this is this person's energy. Somebody's getting played or got played. And they're going to be left in their feelings because they're going to feel like they got played. Because now this person is on the internet, doing the most on the internet, trying to see who's going to relate to them or who's on the same page with them because they out here fishing. Because they feel like their relationship has ended. So they're getting attention from other people on the internet. Give me one more message. 
Well played. Didn't I say it? Well played. Somebody got played. Somebody is about to get played or already has been played. Completing a task skillfully. Way to go. Nice work. Clever. Well done. Great move. And now I'm telling you, this person got people commenting all under their posts. Like, people are after them now. They doing a lot of flexing on the internet. Look at this. They done woke some people up. They doing a lot of flexing all about themselves. Pride, flashy, arrogance. This person is super duper arrogant. Super duper arrogant. Let's see. Let's get a quick little read here on this energy. Give me some more messages, Spirit, on this person. Why is this person, why is this person behaving like this? What is this person's energy? Didn't I tell you this person is arrogant? <laughs> This person is super arrogant. This person is like very prideful. It could be an Aries, okay? Two of Pentacles here. And we got the devil here. It could be a Capricorn. But this person is toxic as hell, for one. They're toxic. And they don't have that much patience. Like, their patience is running thin. I feel like this person wants to kind of like go on a break. I'm getting see flatline is here. We got flatlining, and then this is the energy right behind it. Four of Swords, same kind of energy, and the Death card here could be a Scorpio. But I'm getting like a situation is dead. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Ten of Swords could be a Leo involved. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I'm getting a lot of competition. A lot of conflict. Somebody feeling left out and rejected. This person is super duper arrogant. Too prideful. This person may want to have uh, options. Okay. They like having options. They like having um, more than one option. We got the two of pentacles, the lovers. This is a decision between two people and this person is juggling, okay? This person is really extremely selfish with this nine of cups and this emperor here. That's selfish. This person is uh, holding on to some secrets here with the high priestess. This person is actually moving on to something or someone else they got other things in mind six of swords two of cups three of wands them turning their back on the situation the world closures tell me more about this person king of pentacles this person could be uh, struggling financially as well, too, because I saw the Five of Pentacles right up under that. But look at this. King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this person overthinks a lot. Eight of Swords. They feel like they'll uh, communicate or reach out to you when they're ready we got this three of swords and the queen of pentacles look at this five of swords energy five of swords and the three of cups and the seven of swords here yeah this person is full of crap it's too many people involved so this is why they can't can't fully focus on what's going on between you and them because they got other things going on and the truth is getting ready to be revealed or has already been revealed we got the strength card it could be a leo um but somebody wants to be single or they they just want to they want to be able to juggle okay they want to be able to juggle this person is 
Very, very arrogant. Let's see what they want to say to you. What does this person want to say? We need to let each other go. And to be real, this person knew exactly what they was doing. They knew exactly what they was doing. This person is an asshole. This person is a straight up asshole. For sure. For sure. What action is this person going to take towards my collective? Boundaries. All right. So firm boundaries are needed now. Protected. Okay. Look, somebody needs to protect themselves um, in this situation and put up some boundaries for sure, for sure. Because this person is really overstepping. Denial. And then we got trust. You can't trust this person. If you catch this person doing something, they're going to lie. And deny, 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 deny. This person has way long time overstepped their boundaries. Way. Okay. And somebody's going, I felt like that. Somebody's having, going through some type of awakening. I feel like they're going to realize, this person is realizing that their soulmate could be somebody from the past. They're still holding on to somebody from the past that they haven't released yet. They haven't released someone from their past that they felt a soulmate connection with. They're addicted to this person. We got true love and addiction. Um, they just don't, whoever they were dealing with, just don't have the patience to balance this, them balance their situation out. They could have got left by their person in the past um, and they tried to connect with you, but they did not release this past, this past lover. They haven't released that energy yet, okay? There's a, a lesson to be learned out of this. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson, okay? All of these obstacles that are coming up now is definitely, is spirit is telling you to look, it's time to make a decision on this situation and take your time with this person because this person mm -mm, could be here for the abundance, could be in your life to take, okay? Mm -mm. You gotta set up a boundary. For this person. This person is out of control. Mm -hmm. We're going to get an advice card. Well, before we get an advice card, let's jump into the romance. Um, romance angels. Now, we got... Reconciliation in past person energy. They want, I feel like they could be going back to their exes, their past, trying to rekindle something from their past, or seeing if they could hook somebody. Like, just, I feel like there's a past person in their life that they're trying to call in. Show me this person's energy towards my collective. Very soon. And then we got free yourself. And retreat. Also separation. We got let go of control issues. And we got heart to heart conversation. Playfulness. Release your ex. Flirt. I, I feel like this person is just grieving over... A situation from the past that they have not let go of in order to to be with you the attraction is still there this person is still attracted to you but then we got separation i feel like there is going to be like a separation period but spirit is saying look stay optimistic about your love life for sure for sure somebody here could be married 
or something is leading to a marriage. We got wedding and I'm sorry, we got wedding and engagement. Something could definitely lead to a marriage where you're gonna have a chemistry with somebody. And this this is what I'm saying. Somebody is reconciling with somebody, their soulmate. That they still that they have feelings for. And spirit is saying that something there's some red flags that you need to pay attention to. Okay. Somebody here could be married or they're planning on getting married. And this is somebody that they have a somebody that they have chemistry with, that they could be reconciling with, that they feel like is their soulmate, that they have feelings for. Let me pull some clarifiers. Why is very soon here? Three of Wands, okay. Um, this is this person turning their back on the situation for now. But they'll be popping up back up again. We got the Tower and the Knight of Pentacles. And they're going to take their time, okay. But right now, I feel like we got the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands. This is somebody who cannot be trusted. Okay, do not. I'm telling this person cannot be trusted right now. Let go of control issues. See, somebody's controlling somebody and being sneaky, ooh, being a sneaky bastard about it for sure. For sure, heart to heart conversation. The eight of cups. Okay, there's there's possibly getting ready to be a heart to heart conversation that somebody needs to walk away, or somebody is walking away. Page of Wands, yeah. Something in the world here. Something, a chapter is closing. Okay. Attraction. Six of Pentacles. I feel like there's, there is, like both of you guys are very, very attractive. Um, but with this Two of Pentacles here, it's like somebody's just a juggler. Like they juggle. Chariot could be a cancer. Got Libra's energy here. The four wands and the star. This is somebody healing their their family unit or a marriage. Somebody here is definitely a player. They're chasing after this pentacle. This person is really reckless, so for sure. I'm getting reckless behavior. Knight of Swords and Nine of Swords. Somebody's extremely reckless here. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the Stars here. Yes, yeah, somebody's going to um, wants to collab or fix a situation that maybe they thought was over, but they're still battling with this. They're still battling with this situation. Could be a Queen of Cups involved, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A Leo could be involved. But somebody is like just feeling like they, they're missing out on something. Like there's some missing piece to a puzzle. Okay, so there's a separation here. Yep. Somebody could be married. Okay, we got the Hierophant and separation. This person could be on the separation. They could be been with someone for an extremely long time. Or they could have been married. But somebody here just cannot be trusted. Why is the higher fence? Could be a Taurus involved. Ten of Wands. Yeah. See, the thing of it is, is this person is trying to let this situation go. They are. They feel like the situation is really at its wit's end. But I feel like there's still feelings attached to the situation. Like, I feel like this person is trying to move on. But they still have feelings here that they need to figure out, that they need to balance. They need to try to find balance in their emotions before they take a leap of faith or some type of risk with you. Because I feel like there's something that they, they are trying to get over. Um, it's, it looks like it's at the end. Like they can't take something anymore. Or they've been separated from this person for a while. But it's just like... There's the separation. Yeah. Why is wedding and engagement here? Queen of Cups. They could be married to a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
and this is this situation has been on hold okay they are looking at this situation um they're kind of just viewing it looking at this situation like it's been on hold they know that they have to make a decision they want to make they know that it's time to make a decision they know it's time for them to make a decision but they're just dreading making this decision okay they're dreading making this decision like they're taking their sweet ass time to make up their mind about who they want to be with where they want to be at okay we got the devil and the seven of pentacles could be a capricorn but this person is just taking their time like they don't want this they don't want this to end but at the same time they want love they want love with you too but they don't they need to make up their mind okay because they know that this is going to be a, a, a risk to do something new okay yeah we got the seven of cups and look this is them they're changing their mind like there's somebody who they could be married to or they were engaged to or they were with for an extremely long time that they felt like man this could have led to marriage but they know that they they have to make some changes okay but they just they don't want they don't want to make the decision right now they don't want to make the decision they're not sure if they should go back to this ex person okay they're looking at this person as the empress to be honest and they're watching it they're watching this person they're keeping their eye on this person because they're trying to make a decision they're trying to make a clear headed decision on whether or not to close this chapter okay because it looks like they went through a lot of struggles in this situation and there was a breakup a separation okay but they they they're having a hard time making a decision and it looks like they may have a, a few different offers a bunch of uh yep see they're trying to make up their mind on whether they want to go back to this and try or they want to work on it build on it or if they want to try something new this is their struggle this is their struggle so this is why they are behaving the way that they're behaving it looks like they're trying to get attention this person is having a hard time making a decision because for one they they're juggling too much they just doing the most and they it seems like they just got you wrapped up and tied up in the middle of it let's get some advice what advice do you have for my collective romance ask for help from others so in your romance in your romance life spirit is saying ask for help from others something isn't the right time it's not the right time it's just like the timing is off in this situation or you could be, someone could be giving you this advice like, no, not the right time. It's not the right time. It's not the right time to take action. Yeah, spirit is saying, wait. Because there's some trust things. You got to be able to trust this person. Okay, and we got in the near future. Take action. In the near future. Right now is not the right time to take action. Yep, the spirit said no no take action just flipped over again okay so within the next few months here it looks like it'll be more of a success um so spirit is saying give this situation yeah see a compromise maybe this person is want to come want to come in and compromise with you in the near future in the next few months but and the decision is going to be straight up totally up to you but i feel like this person and see it says unlikely the situation will improve and spirit is saying it's unlikely that is that is going to be better like this person is just possibly coming back around because the other person is fine like don't be nobody's second option 
Okay? My people are, my collective, we number one. It's either number one or nothing at all. And that's on period. <laughs> all right, y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Also, guys, like I said, with the pendulum, I'm doing yes or no questions, $5 each. Um, the information is in the drop box below. If you guys are interested in checking out my website, guys, 20% off for you guys using sell code SALE20 at checkout, and you'll get 20% off of your entire order, all right? Ciao for now, guys.